This is the knockoff Die Ruger 15, also known as Vehicle Voltron. I picked it up at a store called Tuesday Morning for $5.99. Uh, according to Collection DX, this came out in 2011. Uh, it comes apart very similar to the Godaiken, the Matchbox version. You have the feet, can turn to cars. The legs turns into little submarines. This little chest guy plane comes out. The head doesn't come off. It's attached to this, but you can take the torso pieces off. And then the hand forearms are physically attached to this elbow joint, so they don't really come out. So that's the Diagram 15. You could make the air team to plugging in these guys. But then you have these hands stuck to it, which is not accurate to the toy or the show. So I modified mine. These are the originals. They don't come off. But these are the new ones. I took, I bought a second set and took this hip vehicle and cut these protrusions off. I cut the elbow off from the arm and then glued the protrusion to the elbow. And then I found this square tubing, styrene tubing, that is a perfect fit. It's 3 8 inch square styrene tubing, and it's a perfect friction fit. So you see the arm still works. It doesn't come off, and it's just a perfect, almost like a perfect toy fit. So now, I can make a more accurate sky team or air team like so and then I did fix this I made it so that you can return it that way and it pops off normally this there's a big flat disc right here that prevents you from pulling this out so you just take it apart and screw it take the head off and then just trim away the disc but I left a little nub right there so the hole is like this it's indexed with a little slot so I kept a little nub so I can index in the slot turn it and it won't come out after I fixed the air team my idea was to make the land team so since I based the, the uh, elbows with these in mind. That means I can plug them in like so, just like the toy, the Matchbox toy. Now the next problem is getting this to sit. So I got some more tubing, styrene tubing, drilled a hole and cut slots out and made these little fold out tubes or rods, I guess. So those pop out and I plug them in. And now I have a functioning land team.
the first modification that I did actually was to take these guys and cut holes in them. I cut holes out so that I could take this and make my own seating. So now I have all three teams, vehicle teams for Voltron. The next big part was separating these guys. This is fixed. Part of the leg makes a knee, but this doesn't come off. On the Matchbox toy in the show, this little submarine thing is separate from this. So, since I bought a second Voltron knockoff, I took this guy. I realized that this would be perfect if I can make this plug into these somehow. So, I took this guy, cut him off at the knee, kept the joint inside, and then I just took the spare one, cut this out, shaped it, and glued it in. But the knee can still kind of bend. It's real small, not a whole lot of movement, but it doesn't really matter. All I cared was that I could do this, plug him in. So it was real simple. I just cut this off, hollowed this out a little bit, and just kept testing and fitting it, testing and fitting it, sanding it down. So now it's a nice, perfect friction fit. So now I have both of these can come apart. So now I have all 15 Voltron vehicles. How they should be. And they can all come apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I have all fifteen vehicles. And they they all can combine into the sea team, land team, air team, and they can make Voltron. There's Voltron. 